bring it here, Adam. All right, Shalom, Akim. Right, first, shalom. First, shalom. first and foremost, we want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshak, Bashem, Rakhakadash. Don't want to start with others, the apostles of Great Millstone. And honest to you, brothers who are out there doing the work in sincerity and in truth. All right, we and we just getting into prophecy, and uh, we here with the Memphis brothers, and of course up in Memphis, and we got a Nashville brother with us, you know. So, brothers got it. Matthew twenty four verse three, and 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 as he said upon the Mount of Olives, the, the uh, disciples came unto him privately, saying, "Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the signs." Of thy coming and of the end of the world. Yeah, exactly. And that's the same mind frame that we in, but the Lord has gave us a sign. You know, when you go uh you grab that um uh with the second edge of nine. I was just about to get it. You grab that second edge of nine. Cause these are the signs that he has gave us, man, to understand and know, hey, the time of the Lord, the drop of day of the Lord is coming. All right, because like second uh Ezra's always asked, When, Lord, when the time that you, you coming? You know, and we were crying at the same time, but the sign is in the scriptures, man. That's right. It ain't going to catch us as a thief in the night like it's going to catch two-thirds of our people in these heathens, man. Off guard. You know? You got Go ahead. This is 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, starting at the top. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. So you got to measure the time, man. All right? Measure the time, man, and seeing... All right, what's according to the scriptures and what's according to what's happening in the world? You measuring it, man. You 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 really putting everything in perspective. Like, okay, then the scripture said this is gonna happen this time. All right, it's happening. Then the scripture said this is gonna happen and then it's happening. Prophecy is what coming to pass, man. All right, so we measuring out the time that we seen the earthquakes in diverse places. We seen the uproars of the people. All right, hey, we seen went to the uh, eclipse. All right, we seen the signs in, in, in the wonders. All right, in the earth, you know, so we measure not the time distance in itself, man, that we know that what we at the end, man. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world yeah. which he made. Go ahead. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes See? and uproars of the people in the world, right? Then shalt thou well understand. That the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee. See, that's a sign. And the sign that we seen. We've seen a lot of earthquakes, man. A lot of earthquakes happening. Mm -hmm. Terrible uh, uh, earthquakes, man. You know, and uproars of the people, man. Mm -hmm. We see that, so we know that, hey, we're getting closer and closer to the kingdom of heaven, man. You know? Can I, can I get a quick precept? Uh -huh. Habakkuk 2 and verse 3, he said, For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But but at the end it shall speak mm -hmm. and not lie. Yeah. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. Yeah. It yeah. will not tarry. Yeah, see, right. that's why the Lord said, hey, though it tarry, though it seem like it, it ain't coming fast enough, but remember, it's still gonna come. Alright, because what the Lord said, my words are faithful come. and they are true. Come. And also Yahweh Shah said, What behold, I come quickly. All right. right, so right. the Lord, hey, you just don't know how 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 fast time moving. That's right. For the elect's sake. Right. You know? <laughs> like you were just saying, the scripture said you said though it tarry, wait for it, because to us it seems like it's it's taking a long time. Because uh -huh. when you hasten in the day and you in that spirit, you like man. I can't wait till this place get destroyed or you know, some things are happening, you might get fired or, or some hell come up to it, yeah. man. You you just like, man, I can't wait. And you looking at the times, you watching the news. But also on another end, what the Lord was saying, really, it ain't terrible. It ain't oh, it's coming speedily. Mm -hmm. See, the end gonna be here right before we know it. Before we know it, we gonna be in these times, or as they call the apocalypse, Armageddon. Oh. And all that. Before you know it, it's going to be World War Three, And you're going to be able to see all the signs. that that Because that, the Lord showing the signs now. Mm -hmm. There's plenty. Oh. We know we at the end when you got to walk around with a mask, man. Come on. <clears throat> How does a society move forward? Breathing in their own uh, uh, carbon, 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 carbon monoxide. Carbon. Yeah. 
how, how, how does a society move forward by you're not even allowed to do anything really you're not allowed to gather in yeah, big gatherings right you're not allowed to <laughs> to party restaurants closing. Right. restaurants closing yeah 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 yeah, yeah. even these strip clubs they who like the strip club, they, they, they not allowed to do that in, in, the, in certain areas. Yeah. Like I say, so all the things that America was based on and what people loved America for, even though it was folly, it was lust, it was foolishness, all of this stuff is wiped away. It's, it's, it's gone. You, we was watching, um, what was it, the football game, Alabama, Notre Dame? Um, yeah, we was watching that yesterday, but not just that game in general, but as a whole, if you look at all the football games and all that, there's nobody in the stands. They got fake people in the stands. Right, right. Yeah, We're yeah, at yeah. the end, man. Yeah. Your mindset should be focused on right. the end. God. You know, you're supposed to be hastening the day. That's right. Because right. it's it's coming. It, it ain't tearing. You, uh -huh. you in it right now. That's if right. you have a spiritual eyes to see it. God, God, what you're seeing right now, see uh, Matthew 24, and verse 4, and Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. You know <laughs> right. what I'm saying? And this and that's what's happening right now. I know you're talking to the whole elect, but the rest of you people, the uh, two thirds, you have been deceived by this uh, so called white man. Yeah. Right. And you got people like uh, Yohan, of IGBK, he's uh -huh. talking about, yeah, take the vaccine. See, he, he's telling his congregation to do it. And he even came out, he was even talking about the trip. Well, you're going to be hungry then. You know, it, he, he don't care. And then okay. Nate of IUIC is coming out about him. Uh, um, back then, year, a couple years back, he made the uh, video with the Benjamite. And even the Benjamite, he not even in the truth and, and, and was cutting Nate. Because Nate said it's going to be la di da di da peace. And all of that, and then the Lord just going to come back. He was like, yeah, World War Three going to be going on, but we going to just be, you know, la da 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 and then the Lord's going to appear in the skies and bring us to the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> How the hell do you have a world war and everything is la da 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 That don't even make sense. But see, but that's why the scriptures were saying, hey, don't be deceived by these guys, man. That's right. Because that's BS. You know, hey, the prophecy is being fulfilled. It's not tearing. Mm -hmm. It feels long to us because, shoot, we in the middle of the valley of the shadow of death. Huh? We catching hell in it. Mm -hmm. But shit, when you when you hasten in a day, of course it seems like a long time when you really waiting on something. Right. Hey, one hour seems like a long time. Huh? If, if any of you brothers ever been in a holding cell or actual jail, that that one day. Or that four hours seems like four days mm -hmm. that you was in there. Because you over there just waiting. And you waiting to get out. But four hours seem like it's taking forever. Mm -hmm. So to us, we hastening in, in for the for the for that day and for the kingdom of heaven. Of course it seemed like it's taking forever. But it's not. God. It's going by pretty fast, man. God, I mean I mean Nate said there's you no know saying you know what I'm saying that, that it'll be all good. But according to, to a verse 7, he said, for nations shall rise against nation. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's not a peaceful mind. Right. You know what I'm saying? When you're having race riots, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it said, in kingdoms against kingdoms, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. See? Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. and that's how it's shot, man. Come. Mm -hmm. You know, let you know. And we, and we read that in, in what? In the Apocrypha also, man. Yeah. In Ezra. That's how you know peace upon precepts, man. Oh. Everything lined up, man, to be what? Correct, man. That's that right. the Lord words are faithful and they are true, man. And it's not tearing. Alright? Because when you go to uh Second Peter three and um get straight to the point twelve, well I started ten because you got really laughing. It said, But the day of the Lord, you have by Shema Shah will come at the thief in the night. In the which the heaven shall pass away with great noise, and that great noise is what the ICBM missiles. Mm -hmm. All right, it said the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also, and the works therein shall be burned up. 
And that's what's gonna do with the missiles, man. All right, going to what? World War Three, man. Right. And it says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? See, what, mm -hmm. manner, what manner of person are you to be? Mm -hmm. Always occupying the what? Prophecy, man. That's right. Speaking the prophecy. Working through what? Prophecy, man. That's, That's right. what manner of person you ought to be. It says, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the power where we're in the heavens begin on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. But the point was what? Looking and hasting into the coming of our Lord, man. And that's mm -hmm. what we're doing through prophecy, man. That's we right. hasten in the day of our Lord, man. All right? Tell our people repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's you right. Know? That's right. You got it out. You, uh, go, go back to the uh, uh, second heaven. Here you come. Second heaven, chapter 9. Uh, start back and forth. Then shalt thou well understand mm -hmm. that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Ooh. Mm -hmm. For like it's all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times also the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Right. So the Lord told this from the beginning. All right, because even when you read the scriptures and they go into the prophecies, even in the books of Moses, it speaks on what we're going to go through at, in the end times. Mm -hmm. All right, when you read Deuteronomy 28 and, and, and verse 16 on down, that goes into curses. That's right. Curses Israel ain't suffered, didn't know nothing about. But when you got here, now you see it. Uh, you right. want the curses. You want. You see why you in the uh, uh, single mother household. Mm -hmm. You see why your mother's a whore. No disrespect to any brother, but hey, when you grow up, hey, you learn like, dang, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. I got four, five different brothers, and they all got different the daddies. daddies. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, man, like, and, what? and ain't none of the daddies dead. Yeah, and none of them dead. You know, and it's like, dang, mama. Like what you were doing, and it's all they fault, you know. <laughs> so you grow up in that, but that's under the curses. See, that was prophecy, and now you see that prophecy being fulfilled, man. Hey, the, the Lord said in the Book of Amos, He said, uh, uh, "I would turn thy wife to a harlot in the city." Now, you, uh, 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 if you go out, you see our women; they prostitute themselves, man. That's right. They strippers. They into porn. They into uh, 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 they street walkers. That's right. Or they they uh, in music videos rapping about it. I get a nigga money, yada yada yada. You know, and just different stuff. I ain't messing with no broke niggas. That's that's how they do. But that's prophecy coming to pass. These ain't virgin women. These ain't pure women. They ain't clean. They all corrupted. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the men, the men corrupted. What do they focus on? Niggatry. <laughs> Niggatry. We ain't got to go into that. Right. But the, the men are corrupt. And that's, if I may add, that's why these things are happening because we're likening to the women of the most high. And so, you know, we was going into it yesterday when we went out. You know, simply put, the Lord is just giving us a taste of our own medicine. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to play the harlot? You want to be a hoe and run the streets? So now I'm going to have your women running the streets, mm -hmm. playing the harlot. So now Jake going around sad and shit about the man, my damn woman, man. She cheated on me, man. She, she be in the hole, man. Well, I ain't got no virgin. That's your fault, man. <laughs> it's our fault. You yeah. know, it all goes back to the curses, man. Come, mm -hmm. come to, to a back you up real, real fast. You got to be so. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. To, to a back you up real, real fast. Let's see. Um, Ezekiel 3 and verse 7. Mm -hmm. He said, but the house of Israel would not hearken unto thee, for they would not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are, impud are impudent and hard-headed, man. Mm -hmm. They don't fucking listen. Yeah. None of the house of Israel listen. That's Obviously right. put. Why? Because they're here. You know, the Lord, uh, when you go, I think it's the book of Joshua, but he said, uh, we're paraphrasing, but I said before thee this day, life and death. 
Uh, you know, therefore choose life. But did Israel choose life? Hell no. Nah. We, we obviously chose death because we're in the state of death. You know, right. we, we don't we don't live life abundantly. We mm -hmm. we're not able to go and do whatever we want, whenever we want. Right. Right. We had to, we had to uh uh what's the word? Basically put we had to uh you know, sis, or not succeed, um I got one. Damn. Basically we gotta go listen to uh, the damn devil. You know, and go to him for everything. That's, 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 yeah, that's the curses. Yeah, we gotta curses. depend on the devil. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, the Lord no. said he was gonna make us the tail and make them the head. You know, right. when you go into them curses, man. Yeah. All right, and we fulfilling them curses out now, but through the spirit of Yahweh Shemal Shai, you seeing them curses rising off of yeah. Israel and, and mainly predominant uh, falling upon the heathen, which yeah. is, you know, yeah. Esau Eden, uh, uh, predominant, yeah. then they're going down to the other nation. But mm -hmm. you see them curses, man, hitting them other nations hard now, man. Yeah. All right? Why? Yeah. Because we at the end. What it said in Deuteronomy 37, all these curses shall come upon our enemy and overtake them. Okay. And a period of time is going to overtake them, man. All right? And we're going to be left for good, man. That's because right. the That's kingdom right. of heaven is for who? The Israelites, man. Right. You know? I'm going to back you up, though. Come on. Uh, the precept. This is uh, Baruch 2, and I'm going to start at 30. For I knew that they would not hear me. See, the Lord knew. But guess what? What the scriptures say? They would have no cloak for their sins. That's right. So the Lord still, you can find it out. Oh, yeah, I was trying to say, uh, it, uh, if I when I sent you, yep, they would uh, you. Read, read, read it out real quick. I, it says, "For I have knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff necked people." You know, hey, I pick it, it is stiff neck. It's stiff neck. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if the so called white man don't approve it, it Jake really don't give a damn. You're right. Jake really ain't gonna listen. They really ain't gonna even consider because Master didn't say it. Right. Master didn't approve it. Mm -hmm. Master didn't stamp it. You know, it, it takes the spirit of you. How about your mouth shot, man? All right, to, to enter into a, a man's soul to get them to realize, man. That's why I say faith is the thing that was given unto you, man. You can't yeah. buy faith, man. Yeah, it's a okay. gift. That's a gift, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you got it up. Yeah, come. Bring, bring it out real quick. Mm -hmm. All right, this is. Uh... I'm reading one more time. Uh, Baruch. Two and thirty, for I knew that they would not hurt me, because they is a stiff-necked people. Go ahead. John, this is John chapter fifteen. Right, and if I just say this right. real quick, you know, like you said, the spirit has to be in you in order to even recognize this, acknowledge this. Yeah. See, that's really the see what we're doing right now is really the Lord. He's giving all of us a chance to come into the fold. Mm -hmm. You know. And see, a lot of our people, the spirit ain't dealing with them, so they just ignore it. They don't care. They stiff neck. They don't care. And then you got some guys who came into the truth, and then they fell out the truth because they ain't want nothing to do with it. It was it was too inconvenient. Why? Because they're stiff neck, rebellious people. Yeah, you got Can I just, just to back you up about you said that the spirit, you know what I'm saying? of the law have to enter inside of you. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm, I'm going to get it real, real quick right okay. quick. Uh Wisdom of Solomon 7 and verse 25 for she for she is the breath of the power of the Most High mm -hmm. and a pure influence flowing from glory of the Almighty. Mm -hmm. Therefore can no defiled thing fall into her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Her is a wisdom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which is the Holy Spirit, man. Know what I'm saying the Holy Spirit is not defiled. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know what I'm saying? It's so holy. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a it's a holy thing. Yeah, it's pure. You know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. purified. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You are two thirds. You know what I'm saying? You, I mean, you won't you won't you won't even hearken to the Most High, man. You know what I'm saying? Meaning that you don't have the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which is this knowledge and understanding. They dog. They 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 um, in darkness. You know, going to with <clears throat> filthiness, man. You're right. They clutter. With, with all these types of abominations and you know uh, 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 simple things, man. Kind you know, take pride in it too. Yup, that, that's a, a clutter because you know, you know, you go in a house, a dirty house, it's all dirty, it's clutter, ain't no light in it. You know, but once you clean that house up, get the you know what I'm saying, right, right, right. moving things around, it yeah. become clean, it become lighter. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what that's the right. Lord have did to 
one third in, in the elect of the nation of Israel, we have been brought back out of darkness to his mouth of his life, man. So the Lord had cleaned our house up, man, through the spirit, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. And we now what we see and we have life, man. You know? But uh, get that out. Uh, uh -huh. I can't. Let me read the verse 24. Go ahead. John 15, starting verse 22. Right. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. See? Go ahead. But now they have no cloak for their sin. Right. See, that's why the Lord still sent the prophets out. Mm -hmm. Even though he ain't got to send us out, mm -hmm. but he still sent us out. Why? Because they won't have no cloak for their sin, saying that I didn't know or I didn't hear. You know, you can't do that. You got you got prophets on all four corners of the earth, man, all across the globe, preaching and teaching and truth and sincerely, screaming the name of Yahweh Bashima Shah and the downfall of this wicked kingdom known as Babylon, aka America, man. All right, so you know you don't have no cloak for your sin, man, knowing that Babylon is gonna be destroyed, America gonna be destroyed, the RFID chip is the microchip, man, the mark of the beast. You don't have no cloak for your sin, man. All right, you, you should know. You heard it. But guess what? He knew that y'all was a stiff-necked people. But he mm -hmm. still sent the prophets out early to warn y'all, man, of the destruction and the drip of day, man. Yeah, because um, that's what the Lord does before judgment. That's right. All the prophets come to you and warn you. You end up getting warned by the prophets on what you're doing. And then once you ignore it, Judgment come down on you. Mm -hmm. And that's when you start crying and complaining. Lord, I didn't know. But that's why Hosea 4 and 6 say what it say. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's right. Not because they're ignorant. Because they reject knowledge. Yeah. You yeah. rejected the prophets when the prophets came to you mm -hmm. in the spirit. Oh, God, but it's the same my ass. It's the same thing. You go into Esau damn job system. You get a couple warnings before they bring the hand on your ass. Now you fired. It's just that simple, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the most high going to always let his people know and let everybody know, look, you fucking up. And if you don't stop fucking up, I'm going to fuck you up. Mm -hmm. It's just that simple, man. Yeah. yeah. But, but Jay, Jay don't want to listen. Yeah. All right. But, um. I had you two more. You know, right? John 15 and 23. He that hated me hated my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. And at the end of the day, you know, these people, they don't even hate us or Yahweh Shai. They hate the Heavenly Father. They hate the ways of the Most High. So that's what are ultimately going to be destroyed, man. That's why. And notice how the Lord did that. Mm -hmm. How the Lord has taken it. Uh, uh, I remember we was making a, a, a joke last night, and that's when I took it personal. You yeah, know, yeah. Like, talking about Michael Jordan, yeah, yeah. and that's when I took it personal. We yeah, were talking yeah. about how he just always took it personal. Yeah. Well, when the people reject the word, the Lord is taking that personal. Yeah. All right. So he's like, "Well, that means you hate me and my father. Then if you ain't gonna do what we, if we, what we telling you to do, and we mm -hmm. looking out for you, right? right. That means you, you ain't messing right. with us. Then you hate us." So what's gonna happen if, if if to a man that know that you hate him, when that man finally bring judgment down on you, knowing that you hate him, mm -hmm. that's gonna be a that's gonna be a bad judgment, man. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, they want the prophet to uh, prophesy smooth, smooth things, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're not a plantation Christianity doctrine, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But but the church that you're in now, you know what I'm saying? It's okay for you to be a homosexual. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. okay for you to eat pork and do all these wicked things, man. And then what Jake like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jake like to be wicked, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Jake don't like to follow the law, statutes, and, and commandments that were set for us. Huh? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to finish this off. And then we can jump through something in on it. We've got to wrap it up. It's like, but in the land of their captivity, they should remember themselves. And, and see, in the land of what? Our captivity. Mm -hmm. we, is we not in our captivity yet this day? Yes, yes we are. You know, and we what? We remember ourselves. That's right. And that we are the chosen people of the, of the Bible. That we are Israelites. Whether we come from Judah, Benjamin, Levite, okay. Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, okay. Gad, or Reuben, or Issachar, you know, Naphtali. Mm -hmm. We remember ourselves that what? We are the children of the Most High, man. Right. 
All right, that's how you know these this, this words are faithful and they are true. Huh. And it said, and, and shall know that I am the Lord, you have by Shemashah, the power, but I will give them a earth, I mean, so like I will give them a heart and urge to her. And that's going to the elect, man. Huh. All right, because we came back to the obedience of the law, statutes, commandments, man, through the spirit of power, you have by Shemashah. And it said, they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, but they shall remember the way of their father with sin before the Lord. You know, yeah. that's a, that's that's a, a, a blessing in itself to return back to the heavenly Father and the Son, man, and to keep the law, statutes, commandments, really rehearsing the righteous acts. Uh, you know, to the yeah. best of our ability, man. Uh, you know that we we may have hope that the Lord deliver us out of this hell that's coming uh, upon the earth, man. Uh, no. And 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 uh, basically, you know, uh, just the bottom line right here, you know, saying the Lord, you know, He's going to give you a, a choice, yeah. and uh, this your choice right here, Proverbs thirteen and thirteen. He said, "Whoso despised the word shall be this the uh, screw it, man." Mm -hmm. Bottom line, you know what I'm saying? But he that feared the the uh, commandment shall be rewarded, man. Mm -hmm. That's plain now, plain and simple, man. Yeah, yeah. You know? If you despise it. You're going to be destroyed. That's which, right. which the word come through who? The prophets. That's right. When it said Amos, he, 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 he wouldn't, surely he wouldn't do nothing, but he would build his secrets to, to who? The prophets. The servant of prophets. And what yeah. the prophets going to do? They going to come out here and spill the beans. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. so to speak. You know, right. but yeah. um, who, who, who got urged to her the secrets? The, the parables. Right. Right. The, elect, the, the elect, man. Mm -hmm. That's you right. Know? So right, that's, yeah. that's a beautiful thing that, hey, we live in a beautiful times, man. You uh -huh. know? So, hey, I hope you brothers edified. You know, once again, we give our honor and glory and power to. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahshah, Ba'ashim, Rekakadash. Hey, double honors to our elders and peace and blessing to hopefully let. Next time, brother, Shalom. Shalom. Hey, Baba Ball, man. Baba Ball.